Hi, I'm Sherwin, one of the business unit heads at Mundo Design and Build, and here with me is... Matty, I am 9 years old and I'm going to ask my dad some questions. This, this is Ask, ask the, the Expert! expert. Dun, 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 dun. Answer yes. You see, there are a lot of engineering uh, specializations that you can go to. Like their dad is a civil engineer. There are others that are specialized as chemical engineer, a geodetic engineer, industrial engineer, and most of them um, do take time for you to be able to finish and be able to be good at it. But again, whatever you put your mind into, and if you put much effort and much work on it, you will be able to do it. Question number two, do engineers need to be good at math? Yes, they need to be really good at math because most of the time, most of the problems that they have to solve involves mathematical equations. So if they make a mistake, that may end up to be an accident or a problem. Question number three, can engineering be our architects? They are different, they, but they do work together. The architects are the ones that create the house make it look good and look nice while the engineers are the ones that are putting up that structure and making sure that this, the house is safe and strong. Now, question number four. What do you enjoy the most about engineering? I enjoy being able to help people. Um, I enjoy being able to solve problems for people uh, and be able to provide solutions to uh, their requirements. Uh, and um, it as an engineer, I do find it very, very, I, I, I find it uh, uh, very enjoyable to be able to see them happy. So do you feel like it's back at school? Yes, same. Okay. You like helping your friends, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you hate the most about engineering? Um, there are, again, the same way. If I'm not able to help the clients, there are problems that are already beyond our reach. When it doesn't involve numbers anymore and, and, and it already involves problems where uh, we will have to deal with emotions um, and uh, um, external problems, then uh, that becomes difficult for us. Are engineers allowed to have tattoos or piercings? Piercings? Yeah. Piercings. Yes, they do. They are, they need it. Uh, they, sorry, they don't need it. But there are, <laughs> they don't need it. Uh, but there are those that wanted to express themselves in that manner. Uh, but that doesn't mean that if you have tattoos or piercings, you're not good at what you're doing. On the contrary, there are very, Daddy knows a lot of engineers and architects that are really, really good that do have piercings and tattoos because that's the way of how they wanted to express themselves. Do engineers design or build houses? They do. Um, they do help together with the architect, like what I said. They do help make the house strong, um, provide the right foundations, and make sure that it is able to withstand typhoons, earthquakes, uh, and other natural uh, uh, Calamities. Calamities. Thank you. What is your biggest success as an engineer? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. Um, biggest success as an engineer? Um, Meeting Tito MG. Meeting Tito oh, MG! No, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> um, one of the biggest success Daddy was able to do as an engineer is to be able to shift. Um, I was already in my 30s when I was able to find, uh, to work with Mundo Design and Build as a construction. Um, I started my first 10 years of my career, first decade of my career as a facilities and project management. Uh, professional um, and then decided to move and shift um, even though they are both technical in nature but they are very different so uh, I consider it one of my successes to be able to um, shift um, and be and go to construction from where I came from. Question number nine. nine. Are engineers rich? 
Uh, are we? You see this house? It's not ours. <laughs> we are comfortable. We, I, 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 my work is able to provide a house. Um, we're able to provide food, shelter, clothing, and uh, to be able to put you in a good school, uh, give you a car. So yeah, I think, um, and, uh, and, I, and I have a loving family, so I think in that way we are rich. What's the most challenging project you've worked on? Besides raising up a nine-year-old kid, we are currently working on a project which we started earlier this year. Santa Rosa Laguna. Yes, it's a project in Santa Rosa where, where Daddy goes a lot these days. Um, we do go there and uh, we're, we're very excited to be creating um, and starting one of the um, uh, structures, one of the buildings for um, the, one of the universities here in the country. Uh, we're already excavating a lot of earth, we're moving a lot of earth, uh, we're doing um, foundations already, uh, concrete pouring, uh, um, and we're very, very excited for what's ahead. Uh, we're hoping that by the end of this year, we'll be able to be able to finish that project. This is Engineer Sherwin. And this has been Mateo. And this is Ask the Expert! Thanks everyone for watching. We hope you learned a lot uh, on what we do here in Mundo Design and Build. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Bye! Hi mga kapaa. Sorry. Wake up, good job. Just don't let me ask that. That's the problem. And this is the X. Okay, like what he said. And this is...